Billions are deceived about the simplicity in Jesus Christ. And I'm talking about the simplicity in the saving gospel, how to be saved. 2 Corinthians 11.3 warns us about this. It says, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve, deceived Eve, through his subtlety, his craftiness, his ability to fool people, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. In this video, I'm going to show you who Satan uses to deceive people and how he does it. Now, unfortunately, Satan is going to be very successful in getting the majority of people into hell. We know this because Jesus at Matthew 7, 14 says that relatively few people will have everlasting life. Now, he uses Satan uses multiple ways to deceive, to corrupt people's minds, to not believe the simple truth on how to have everlasting life, how to be saved. It's so simple, but Satan gets in there, and we're going to show you how he does it. First, I'm going to read three simple verses to illustrate the simplicity of the gospel, the way to be saved, how to have everlasting life. First John 6, 47, Jesus speaking, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Now, this everlasting life is a free gift, which is stated at Romans 6, 23. Second simple verse, Acts 16, 30, 31, the most direct question in the Bible on how to be saved, question and answer in the Bible on how to be saved. And brought them out and said, Sirs, what? must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You can see in that verses that the object of your faith must be 100% on Jesus. The last simple verse, Romans 10, 9, 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes, God raised him from the dead. Jesus went to the cross with our sins, he died on that cross for our sins. He was buried, and he rose. That's the saving gospel to find at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. Now, if you are a lost people person and you've never believed on Jesus, this is what you must do. You must repent. You must repent. Change your mind of your unbelief in Jesus and put your faith, belief, trust in Jesus and him alone. It's a sin not to believe on Jesus. Look at John chapter 16, verse 8 and 9. Now, it's simple on how to be saved. You could see it in those three verses. So how does Satan deceive? How does he corrupt people's minds? He uses other people. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 through 15. He uses deceived people, deceived teachers, ministers of righteousness. Now, many of these people are well-meaning, but they're deceived. Where are these people? Who are these people? Now, the vast majority of them are deceived teachers. They are in established mainline denominations, pastors, preachers, Sunday school teachers. They're in educational institutions, seminaries, seminary professors, graduates, Bible colleges. They're all, most of them are well-educated people. Now, what do these deceived, well-meaning people teach? They teach multitudes of false works gospels. Now, I cover 11 of these popular false works gospels in video number 86, Doctrines of Devils. Now, I don't cover every false gospel, but those are 11 popular false gospels. I consider the greatest false gospel today is water baptism to be saved. Tremendously popular. Now, here is a better way to tell you what these well-meaning, deceived people teach. Now, you got to get this. If a teacher does not teach that a lost person is saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone, they are teaching a false gospel. It's that simple. Now, I did a video about this, grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone. It's video number 128. Now, you don't have to say it exactly like that. You can say it different ways, like this. The way to be saved is to put your faith, trust, and belief in Jesus, Him alone, and nothing else. Here's another way. If you want to have eternal life, 
You just got to simply put your trust in Jesus, Him alone, and nothing else. That is the only truth on how to be saved. Now, how do these false gospel teachers deceive? They use great swelling words, enticing words. Look at 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18, and Colossians chapter 2, verse 4. They use non-biblical words and phrases that sound good, sound good to a lot of ignorant people. Now, if you look at that Doctrines of Devil video, 86, you'll see how they use these great swelling words. Now, I'm going to give you one example of a false gospel teaching that deceives many and really sounds good. It's got a great swelling and enticing words in it, and it causes lost people to trust in themselves, their own life to be saved. Now, I consider the phrase I'm going to tell you here the greatest satanic false salvation salvation teaching phrase in the world today. My son was taught this 30 years ago. I have extensive experience with this phrase and similar phrases and the people who teach it. And this is the phrase. You must give your life to Jesus to be saved. Let me say it again. You must give your life to Jesus to be saved. Great swelling words really sounds good. But there's at least eight doctrinal reasons that is false, which I cover in detail in video number 22. I'll give you two reasons why it's false here. I only have time to two for two. Eternal life is a free gift. You don't give anything for a free gift. You receive free gifts. Look at John 1.12 and Colossians 2.6. And you know, if you got to give something for a free gift, guess what? It's no longer a free gift. Another reason it's false, a lost person is dead in trespasses and sins. Look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, and Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5. A lost person's life has no sin-saving capability. There's nothing in a lost person's life who is dead in trespasses and sins that has anything they could give to Jesus that Jesus could use to save that lost person from their sins. Now, here's other similar phrases that use the word life. And they're all false teaching, but they sound really good. You must commit your life to Jesus to be saved. You must surrender your life to Jesus to be saved. You must turn over your life to Jesus to be saved. I tell you what, any lost person that's depending on their life to get to heaven will go straight into hell. Now, why are multitudes deceived by all these great swelling and enticing words that are put out by denominations and educational institutions. Here's the reasons why. No reason why. People refuse to double check what they are told by these false, well-meaning gospel teachers with the Bible. And guess who is guilty? Me. For 20 years, I was deceived by these great, swelling, false gospel teachers. I was deceived because I did not check it with my Bible. You must do what is in Acts chapter 17, verse 11, what those people did. They simply heard what they were heard from the, the gospel teachers and they double checked what they were hearing with the scriptures. The bottom line, if someone is teaching, if they're not teaching, a lost person is saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone, they are a false gospel teachers. Now, don't be one of the billions of people deceived about the simplicity of the gospel in Jesus Christ. All you got to do is put your faith, belief, trust in Jesus, Him alone, and nothing else. Now, I know there's a lot of people listening that refuse to trust in Jesus, Him alone. This is your current status right now. You are condemned, John 3, 18. You are damned, Mark 16, 16. And at this very moment, you have the wrath of God abiding in you. Look at John 3, 36. Just put your faith, belief, trust in Jesus, Him alone, and nothing else.